guys, welcome back to Release the Craft in Priscilla here for day 15 of Povember. That's hashtag Povember24. Check it out, YouTube, Instagram, see what everybody's making. There's a playlist, I'm going to link it down below. And probably at the end of the video, all the things, all the stuff. We're 15 days in, there's only 15 more days after this one, we're halfway through. This is the official halfway through point, you guys, and I cannot believe how fast this is going by. It's absolutely wild to me. There's been some really cool stuff, I'm just super hyped. <laughs> it's still just like, this This month is flying by, and I don't want it to, I want it to be November forever. But at any rate, uh, the prompt for today is the sea. And um, I mentioned this when I was reading the poem on the day that I read the poem to you guys, that I don't see a lot of like gothic-y sea stuff and of course now I want to do like a sea gothic theme thing but I don't have I don't have time so that's on the back burner until I come back to this idea but I wanted to add in this poem particularly because I wanted to incorporate a sort of gothy sea bit of ephemera because I don't see it very often and I wanted to do it uh, and then I had to like do it <laughs> and I was like what what are you gonna do actually miss brilliant thinker I'm gonna do something that you don't normally see what are you gonna do and so I decided to um pull from an idea that I had done when I did my galaxy journals where I made like a specimark I called it a specimark myself because it was a bookmark that was a specimen uh card sort of mostly pretty much. Um, so I was like, okay, we can we can make a specimark. How are we going to make a specimark for the sea, though? So then I started thinking about playing with shapes and, like, sort of the profiles of things, and I started thinking, what if we kind of made, like, a little lighthouse tag? And it looked like a little tower, you know, that could also be a lighthouse. And then we added, like, a, a sad Victorian woman or just a sad lady and the sea. So that's that's how we are here. That's This is where we are. This is a part of the lighthouse. This is a lighthouse tag. <laughs> Um, a lighthouse specimark, <laughs> so to speak, and um, essentially what I'm doing is I am making sort of this uh, vaulted pyramid triangular shaped tag so it looks a little bit like a lighthouse. I don't want to go like make an actual lighthouse. We don't have time for that, but I think this works. And then I added in a little circle punch out for the top to be like the light or the window and then um, or a window, not the window. And then the bottom piece is going to be the actual window looking out onto the sea or yeah, <laughs> I think that works here. And I'm being very uh, sort of loosey-goosey with how I am applying these things because I want it to um, not spend all day being very fuzzy. So as you can see, I'm not really measuring anything. I'm just sort of going for it and then trimming everything to fit afterwards. And it works out just fine. So like, yeah, <laughs> at the end of the day, it came together beautifully. So I'm very happy with how it came out. So I have these little, um, like, gothic -y window cutouts that you guys have seen me use in a different product. I got these ones from Global Land. And um, I decided that these were going to be, like, the bars on the window. So you put those down first. And then I'm going to add the glue to them so that the stuff doesn't slide around. And uh, then I'm going to add in my acetate to be the actual part of the window, the, the glass of the window. Um... And then, I'm going to do that twice. <laughs> Trying to remember what I did here. I'm, I'm recording this after the fact. So, we're, we're watching this together, essentially. And yeah, I'm being so loosey-goosey here. It's kind of funny, but it works out because all this is going to get glued together at the end. So, it's all going to be stuck together. So, all those things will be held in place either way. And then I have uh, this digital from a shop that I forgot. I'm sorry, but they were on Etsy. They have an ocean kit because I was going to do that, uh, like dark siren mermaid book but then I got distracted and fell behind so that's an idea for next year but I have this ephemera pack of the like ocean ephemera uh from their shop and if I remember I will link them down below if I forget remind me and I will link them down below <laughs> um but I'm using some of these paintings of the sea to uh be the ocean outside of the window <laughs> the little sea bits and then I have uh the of stage and screen kit i'm cutting these out these are like from some posters of famous actresses from way way long ago and um i wanted to use these ones because they're drawn so they sort of match the artsy style of the painted c um but also i think their, their expressions are very dramatic in this so i think it works out very well to get that sort of melancholy uh 
tragic female character vibe that Poe is very famous for. And I just realized that there is a kid outside who is, like, screaming, crying. So if you guys can hear that, I'm really sorry. But I'm just going to keep talking and pretend like it's not happening because what the heck, everything was quiet until I started recording. But at any rate, I'm going to make sure that everything fits in there. And like I said, I'm being very loose with how I'm measuring things. I'm just eyeballing things and sort of trimming to fit. So this this is a very easy project to do even though it is very like involved there's a lot of steps but it's not super fuzzy so like we're just making it zoom right on by and I love how these look you guys I think they're so cool um I love like the the little vignette of the the woman in the window sort of peering out over the ocean from a lighthouse to sea thinking about her lost love or somebody who has died perhaps at the sea and you know I think it all works together I think it, <laughs> I really like how these came out honestly I, I'm really really loving them and then because I needed to add a little touch of red in I thought we just add some red splatters to maybe sort of indicate that some death has happened at the sea um and we're just sort of dealing with, you know, the fallout, the aftermath of that. Um, and so I'm just sort of adding those around sort of a little bit sporadically with some distress ink. Nothing fancy, just to tie it all together. And then I added them to the back too, so that, you know, the theme runs throughout. And then I have some bat uh, die cuts that I decided would make it a little bit more... Just a little, just a little, a little touch of something extra. Also, I just really love these bats, and I cannot get enough of them. So, yeah, they, they came in. I think there's bats flying around our lighthouse, and it all works. In my brain, it works. Um, and I love it. Also, it kind of reminds me of, like, a vampire visiting, like, a girl's window at night. So maybe that's also what's happening. Maybe she's at the lighthouse, and this vampire is visiting her at night, and that's why she feels so, like, melancholy, because she can't be with him in the day. I don't know. It's the lore. It's the story here. <laughs> and this is basically everything I have. <laughs> for you guys today. Uh, don't forget to follow the hashtag, Povember24, see what everybody else is up to, and keep following along. I'll be back tomorrow with another Povember make for you guys, and until next time, guys, happy crafting. I appreciate your faces. Bye!